Hey, what's up guys? It's Toothy Deer right here on Deer Right TV, and today is the day that Nelson predicted the zombie apocalypse. As you can see from the official Dead Zone trailer, the original Roblox game that Nelson made that eventually became unturned. I have been preparing for this for over a year now. I have spent over 80,000 hours boarding up my house and gathering food and ammo to last me the rest of my life. As you can clearly see, I don't plan on living very long due to my pathetically weak body. But I have been sitting here for many hours and I'm beginning to think the release date was wrong. If Nelson can't get this release date correct, I now see why there is no release date for Unturned 2. It wasn't because he didn't want a necessary pressure from the community while making it. It was because he knew that people were already going to be disappointed with the apocalypse itself being wrong. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. An orange hoodie, my favorite color, my day is no longer ruined. Nelson, I accept your gift and I forgive your inability to predict the end of times. But I guess now we can talk about the infection in Unturned 2, as it's the first time we ever get to witness someone turning. This is a very big moment and I haven't seen many people talk about it specifically. Nelson himself has stated that lore-wise, the virus won't have you turn just from dying like The Walking Dead. You specifically have to get bit by the turned and be infected by them directly. Scratches might also be a thing, but most likely gameplay is basically the same thing. As it seems, the virus works quickly. It most likely will take a while to spread and kill you, but as it is now, you are able to move and everything is normal, but then you drop dead and turn immediately. And I'm no doctor or anything, but my theory is that the virus travels through your blood or something and tries to reach your brain. And unless you can get a vaccine in time, the virus instantly infects your brain and you just drop dead. This is insane. Lore-wise, it's incredibly terrifying. And as it seems, it's so fast to kill you, it might actually be painless. What the turn did to you is most likely the painful part. Gameplay-wise, if your friend or someone in a room with you turns, you would have to pull out your weapon damn fast. <laughs> you wouldn't even be able to tell before it was too late. Imagine the stuff you could do. Purposely infect yourself or someone and then send them to your enemy's base and bam, they might die. It makes dying from zombies way more interesting. I also want to say how cool punching is. You can even double punch, take out zombies with just two hits. The one bug I found, if you hide the HUD and then hit some zombies and then unhide the HUD, the hit markers apparently build up, so you can basically just store hit markers. But back to the zombies, I wanted to do a few tests, mainly what would happen if you turned while falling from somewhere high. And the results were really interesting. I ended up spamming the command a few hundred times, and that was just really cool. I even noticed that the zombies can move somewhat far away, so if you die with your stuff, you better get back there or it could wander away and you'd have to go hunting for it. I seen that Nelson mentioned that he wanted there to be a chance that your body would remain as a ragdoll until someone approaches it, and that that could be a possible zombie type, and I feel for that to have any good effect, the despawn time on ragdolls would have to be longer, and an option to turn off ragdoll despawning would be pretty cool for people doing cinematic stuff, just, just saying. I also want to throw in the idea of a flanker variant for the ones on the ground. Just imagine them ever so slightly flickering to give, like, a hint to the player if they are paying attention, but catching most people off guard. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Tales of the Unturned Episode 2 should be releasing on the 12th of this month, 20th by the latest, hopefully. And for anyone interested, I am selling some shirts and stuff on Teespring, link in the description. The one design I have on there right now is the Seppuku Waffles and all that, which is really cool. What Seppuku Waffles basically is, is a restaurant that's going to be in Tales of the Unturned. So if you want to support the channel and you like the design, maybe check that out. I'm also planning some other designs for the shirts too, so that'll be pretty cool. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you guys next time.